We had a 13-year-old find a like boy tonight, still shaking a bit after having a gun pulled on him by a neighbor while playing basketball outside his home. This incident led to a three-hour standoff Sunday night with police. Jason Zimmerman spoke to the boy and other witnesses in this first alert update. What was supposed to be a fun game of basketball among a group of teens on Donahue Court Sunday night quickly escalated when a young girl on a bike rode by coming close to a ball, which upset her father. Last time she comes through, I shoot the ball. And he saw that and he didn't like it, so he came up to me. He was like, if you, if any of you hit my little girl, I'm going to knock your teeth in. I'm like, whoa, like, knock my teeth in, that's a little too much. I'm a kid you're talking to. He's like, I don't care how old you are. Lyric Reynolds says another neighbor then stepped in to defend him and the other boys playing ball, which caused a man who was upset to leave and come back three minutes later with a gun. A witness says that same man then threw a punch on the guy standing by Reynolds. He punched him. But I didn't see his gun. His gun was in the back. I didn't, I didn't see his gun, but I seen him punch him. And then he went, I guess he went over there, threw the gun in the pond or whatever. The incident caused a lot of people to call 911. And once officers arrived, they say the man who is 44 years old barricaded himself inside his own house, even refusing to let his own kids, ages four and five, to leave. It was kind of scary, but. I felt bad for the little girls. After about three hours, the man was arrested, but Reynolds says he can't forget the moment he saw that gun pointed towards his face. I was a little scared, but then I'm like, I can't overreact because I got my sisters out here and everything that I got to worry about. The man is now facing several charges, including possession of a firearm under the influence. Reporting in Final Act, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News.